In the UK, the government finally announces that it will be compulsory to wear a face covering in shops and supermarkets from the 24th of July. This is four months after I wrote to Matt Hancock and James Cartledge, my local MP, saying we should be wearing a face covering as they do in Asian countries where the death tolls have been far lower than ours. In May, I wrote again to the Department of Health, several Tory MPs, Sir Keir Starmer, The Guardian and The Daily Mirror, pointing out the scandalous rising death toll because of the government's intransigence in asking the public to wear face coverings. Needless to say, I never received a response from any of them. This one simple act could have saved more than 40,000 lives in the UK. Outrageously, the government uses figures from Public Health England, which shows total deaths at 44,000 rather than the Office of National Statistics, which records all deaths, places the total deaths from COVID-19 at more than 60,000. Tragically, it all comes down to money, just like everything else. Those countries who decided that the economy and tax collection was more important than the lives of their citizens chose to ignore scientific fact that the virus is airborne and therefore were prepared to kill off large numbers whilst making it appear that they cared. The irony is that had we worn face coverings from the beginning, our death tolls would have been much lower and businesses would not have needed to close down for so long, if at all. Wearing face coverings would have meant people working and travelling almost as normal, care homes would have been protected and the NHS would have been spared the tsunami of cases. Just look at the facts. In Japan, with a population of 125 million, almost twice that of the UK, they wear face coverings, and they have recorded just 1,000 deaths from COVID-19, and their lockdown measures have been far less strict. Even China's total is still under 5,000 deaths. The UK, USA and Brazil have clearly opted for deaths over the economy. In any other circumstances, this would be classed as genocide, especially as the vulnerable, elderly and ethnic minorities have been hardest hit. If you're interested in hearing the truth rather than all the lies that get put out by the media and governments, then please subscribe to my channel.